Hello and welcome back to Snowtopia here on Raw Slow Gaming. Yeah, we're back again here at Cradle Lake, exactly where we left off last time. Uh, continuing on with our resort here. And uh, I just love our skiers that this falling at the end of it all. You know, those skiers that go in just far too fast entering the cues to your ski, ski lifts. I've actually done that myself one time, trying to ski into uh, uh, a queue where it was some uh, some, some uh, a wall, not a wall, but a uh, fence. You know, this red fence that they put up uh, to, to uh, make sure that people don't run off uh, a run where it's dangerous or just to mark up a queue. Uh, I tried to steer into one of those really fast to get up to a bottom lift that is really boring in my local uh, ski area, so to say. But I, I, I unfortunately did that a little bit too tight and uh, got stuck with one ski under a pole. So basically I just crashed really hard there and got, uh, got told by the, the person running the lift there that you can't do that. Well, uh, <laughs> I know I can't do that. I were pretty damn ashamed after that and didn't go to that lift again that uh, day and uh, definitely have a, never done the same thing or tried to do the same thing there actually uh, luckily enough though it was after after you, i started to take seeing a little bit more serious so to say uh, meaning that i had a back plate on me so didn't hurt that much at least uh, and more importantly i didn't uh, injure myself anything so to say so we have gotten in, of course many many runs here around this area this village uh, the question is do we want to expand uh, this village uh, up to a peak that we haven't touched or something like that uh, we could try to go up here about uh, i think that would open up quite many good runs here and uh, that would be red or black, quite possibly uh, black, I would think. And uh, would be hard, yeah, kind of. If we place that something like that, you could come in there with some more black runs. I don't think black runs is what we need, though. And red runs is something that we kind of do need. So uh, I think this might not be the worst idea to pull up a lift uh, somewhere around there. We'll have a try at it and see if it works uh, like planned, so to say. All right, end of the world. So uh, we are thinking something like this. And we had a yellow piece, so we'll take that. Uh, that uh, let us see here. Then this is the question: Can we? Will we get uh, this to be mostly red drums coming from here? If we just go straight down, no. This is definitely mostly black, but it looks like it's not that far off from red anyway. So if we take something like that. And like so. I said mainly red, yeah? Don't be stubborn and be all black to me then. No red. All right, I guess not. Um, yeah, is that mostly red? It is mostly red. And I think that's, uh, I think that's have a chance to be a good run. 
Uh, I think we also can go actually even sort of wider. Uh, so we will do so from kind of there and just go on a more sort of mellow run. Uh, but yeah, it's actually a lot of blue there and a lot of black so far. Not really what I meant to do there. Mint can't speak now either. That's perfect. Yes, a red police. Don't really want to change that. Don't really want that to be uh, marked <laughs> that way it is, but uh, it's fine. Uh, yeah, I thought going down here would be good. Question is it though? Uh, red can. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing there, even to be honest. Yeah, uh, literally have no clue. And what kind of looks good too is a lift up towards that area. Now we'll, we'll actually sort of just go crazy here in uh, this episode, I guess, maybe, or rather in the last couple of episodes here. I think we're not having that many more episodes here in uh, this map, in our in a usual Let's Play here, so to say. So we're just uh, going a little bit all in with everything I feel like, and we'll then sort of have a end uh, episode where we're Kind of pulling everything together, so to say, and just uh, summarizing and trying to optimize uh, the best we can get out of the resort with uh, what we have in place, so to say. This didn't, didn't, yeah, all right, didn't, uh, <laughs> didn't, uh, wasn't, wasn't is the correct word, wasn't really a red, so didn't really. And do you, um, me any favors as such? Um, definitely just want a, a, a straighter run here too, because it just looks too inviting to not do that. Yeah, something like that. The question is, can we get in with something even closer? Yeah, we can. We can get in with that. Also looks too inviting to not do it. Uh, that might definitely be red though. So that's good. We want to get in with red runs. That's uh, our target with uh, that, that, that lift. And uh, let's get in some uh, volunteers there. I think we should run the game at the fastest speed too. So we kind of get in more uh, skiers and everything. And that's something we are going to work against, as I said. Uh, I don't think we're getting over there. That small a little ridge. And uh, yeah, we're not, not going to be able to do anything about it. At least I don't think we are. So if we're starting somewhere along these lines, can we actually get over? We can actually. I can get over here. I didn't. I didn't think we could, but we can. Uh, so for sure, everyone that goes here, I don't think it's any point in trying to get that to be red, because I don't see that really happening. For the sake of it, let's see here. If we zoom out and um, something like that, no, that's going to be mainly black. So let's aim for a black run and just get it in there as, uh, as black as possible, so to say. Uh, we'll have uh, one skier, not skier, one uh, volunteer, there are two. And that's black, that's fine. Is that red? Yeah, it actually is. Blue, yeah. And blue. All blue. And all black. And all red, yeah, so. It's actually decent. 
that got up our red drones a little bit, I think. General happiness, very good. Um, wait for snow groomer is uh, a little bit on the high side. Problem skew, I guess it's skew, yeah. So we'll have the gear reducer here to get the, hopefully that Q issue away. Yeah, well, seems like it. It's no groomer. Do we have issues here? One, yeah. And then it's over here, two, and over there. Yeah, it seems, seems all right. And you're not especially busy, but a little bit. Uh, regarding that, we're still having two uh, two services to be built that we haven't built in our resort as of yet. So we'll do that at some point. Have we had any skier going up here yet? Nope. Not a single one. So I think we can uh, have just one volunteer and the same for this one. We don't really have no takers yet, but that's, uh, that's all right too. We actually have a close building here too. That's uh, not something we want to do. So rumor, just to help uh, that a little bit too, I guess. Uh, so we're definitely going to go down here from this side. And it's definitely going to be very steep, very, very steep and uh, very crazy. Uh, hey, we can do that. So we're going to do that. Right. So like that, we can't really do any skins. We can do uh, one kind of split there. And I think we will just for the sake of it, uh, split like this and then just enter here instead. I think that's uh, going to be <laughs> the same really. But we can't get over, or can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? No, we can't get over there and get in something like this. And I don't think, yeah, it's going to be too steep, really. We could could get it in with another lift here, I guess, up to this place uh, to get in even more runs here. But if, I feel like this is probably pretty well populated at the moment. We could argue for going higher, uh, but again, I don't know, especially what's the point in doing that. Uh, if we were just to go higher as such and kinda, no, don't go uphill. Kinda just go with the flow here and kinda try to get over here, would that make sense? Well, that actually makes more sense than I thought it would. No, like that. Uh, so we'll place that in two. Yeah, I do, do like the look of that actually. So as I said, this is pretty well filled in. Here is definitely well filled in and well used. Uh, this looks a little bit bare bone, a little bit empty to what you can do. But then again, I don't really want to super overpopulate the area with runs and everything. And then we have this area, which is uh, definitely dense and well populated. And we have uh, the opportunity to do something towards this side though, which I think we will uh, do right now and right here, uh, because that's pretty much what is missing here. Uh, we're still a little bit uh, low on red runs and maybe green runs. So we want really to have sort of a perfect mix mixture on the slopes with the uh, spending easy, average, difficult, and very difficult slopes as uh, each other, so to say. So that's what we'll sort of aim for. And that means more green and red runs uh, will probably be very hard. 
to get in green runs from here, but uh, red runs, sure. That shouldn't be impossible. Um, the question though is, can I get in here with uh, this lift I can here? And I think that's actually a good placement. Yeah. Uh, now get a little bit too many runs here. Waiting for snow groomer. And uh, it seems to be allocated a fair bit to that area. Uh, might have be uh, a call or just coincidence, so to say. But we're going to add in uh, some more uh, snow groomers here, I guess. While we're doing that, remember to smash that like button if you're in enjoying the show. Also, if you haven't done so yet and want to follow along and uh, get more Snowtopia content, make sure to hit the, that subscribe button too. And uh, yeah, if you want to support the channel even more and are interested in Snowtopia, check out the links in the description to where you can buy the game and support the channel at the same time. Also, links to the devs Discord and more in the description, so check that out. Uh, so definitely one uh, snow groomer here, I think makes sense. And probably should have somewhere else too. Yeah, that's, that's kind of where I put it. Uh, over here, yeah, so I guess uh, one more snow groomer somewhere around here would definitely make sense. We are uh, very much just kind of pushing runs in with the uh, out really thinking about the, the consequences uh, for the snow groomers and everything. How are we with profiles here? Snowfalls are not long off at all. Bold adventures also not long off at all, if that's the case. Uh, the green ones, green ones. It's the snow plows, yeah. So really need just one or two more skiers of these ones uh, to uh, fill up the next profile. Because that is uh, something we kind of need. 10 person gondola, yeah. And upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. Oh, no, no, no. Here is where we want the upgrades. And person gone light, yeah, I know. Upgrades. Been enclosed. But uh, not connected, yeah, uh, I don't know. You're about to connect that to something. So. If we're going to connect, can we get in a green run from here? Possible to build up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Green, yeah. I just want to see if, if it would be possible at all. Right, so we were able to get in there decently. Come on, I don't want to build uphill. No. Yeah. Those rocks are not, not with me, so to say. And um, we could try and get this green. Uh, I, I'm not exactly sure what the real point uh, in that is though. And it's uh, looking, to be honest, uh, a lot like, yeah, this is going to turn out blue anyway, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get it in there. And uh, we'll get something in from there too that uh, can be red. Can you be red for me, please? Yeah, maybe not. So something like this. Yeah, maybe. You can maybe be red, actually. Who knows? <laughs> so this is uh, definitely uh, very tight as such. You turn out blue. Yeah. 
I kind of want to put you to green, so I will put you to green. And I think we have uh, done a few runs that we have altered, altered the difficulty. And I think that uh, sort of made sense to do that there. We'll take uh, our chances down here. Again, we'll work towards uh, red as the target here. Uh, a bit of black there, and that's fine. And a bit more black than I would like. A lot more black than I would like, really. And that's better. And there you go. Yeah, that's uh, actually really how we want it to be. Um, and I think I think it's going to be easier to do the same thing from this side than repeating, because this all looks a lot more reddish and even to me. No, don't want that. I want the other placement, but we'll do that. You turn out red. That's good. It's very good, actually. Uh, that might mean or will mean that we should be able to do a cross here, too. That can be red. Uh, we just got to pick the right spot. Uh, yeah. Doesn't look... Super great, but it's uh, it's all right. Still here, very soon going to end with uh, not getting in more uh, volunteers, which is going to be frustrating for sure. Can we and should we get in more runs from here? Well, no, I don't think we can here really sure we can get in with a couple of spawn ones in between here but um, wouldn't make much of a difference we do have takers to that lift already up that's good that is not the case for these ones really uh, so we should uh, quite possibly try to perfect that a little bit more if we can as such we don't have much more uh, notifications so that's good we were looking around so that's pretty full kind of have a space here too that we could uh, could use a little bit better we don't really need to could and as I said we're at the moment just going in slapping about the lifts a little bit all over the place too steep for building yeah oh really you can't get it in there uh yeah and a little bit of area do we think that would make no, yes, maybe. No, yes, maybe. This is struggling to be red. So that would be black. We don't really need more black runs. Yeah, this is all right. This is very full. Can't really do much there. Uh, we could try some here, maybe. Uh, what we can do and maybe will do here uh, with everything set up and with is to bring this back down to uh, our first village I, I think we'll do that now as i said we're just sort of getting it all together and we'll just go straight down here and hit the back side here of the uh, the snow groomers, so they got to go around them to get back to the resort. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's all right. Anyway, this seems uh, well utilized too. Coming down in there, that's going to be all right. We can 
or could put in some other uh, lists here too, like kind of halfway up the, the hills or mountains. We don't really need to do that though, so we're not going to do that. Um, we can add in like another green run here, possibly. Or blue, green, blue. So we're actually going to do that. Yeah, that's blue and that's green. Yeah, that's fine. So that's probably going to be another green run or uh, blue run, I mean. Um, can't really use the crater more. Uh, we could cross here, possibly to get in another uh, red run. If we really try, we can get in with something more in there, but again, and not really the point. And this is also very well utilized. So I actually think we're we're done there with the, the number of slopes and the placement. I, I'm pretty pleased actually overall with the placement and the feel of the resort. What we do need is to put in some uh, raclette stand and sunroom and then we'll sort of work out what works and what doesn't. Uh, something I see here is that we don't really have any services here whatsoever. So we'll put in the sunroom right there and then find a stand of or a place for the raclette stand that we feel would make sense. And we have take us here directly, which is good. Uh, where could and should we have the raclette stand? We have a large shelter there, so uh, we kind of want them everywhere uh, where we have a little bit of one meeting point, so it would make sense maybe to have the raclette stand here. Or, no, that's the tea room, so that's all right. Can we get in with a raclette stand here? Would you fit? No. All right, so down there you have the tea room. Up here is everything connected or rather one you have that's connected there we have uh, that in the middle of everything there uh, all right let's have a reclet stand up here then if we can uh, yeah just straight in between these ones reclet stand right then so Waiting for snow groomer. Yeah, that's fine. How are we doing here? 92. You just don't want to come up that last bit. I just take a little bit of time to get that uh, pushed. It might be something else. I'm not totally sure, to be honest. But we seem to be having the assistance for skier on the control at least. And uh, just in general, I think I think we have things under control. Let's actually sort of slow the game down and have a little bit of a look throughout our resort then here before we end off. So obviously we started here with uh, some runs coming off here. Yeah, some green ones, uh, longer ones, and using that little peak and using this little sort of flat peak to start our Silla Ronda or merry go round around the crater, uh, which worked fairly good for us. This was always, always, always in the start overutilized and we couldn't really get over that no matter what we tried. And we also couldn't really get skiers to go to here and use these lifts to get longer into the, to the resort. And uh, that is working now fairly good. And uh, we have connected everything and we have connected to the top of the world here pretty much, uh, which no one is using. 
but that's fine. The one thing that uh, eventually turned out pretty good is this area. It's a very, very long gondola lift from uh, this uh, bottom, or not bottom, the, from this pole. And uh, this gondola lift too. But a very nice carving area here, I would say. We have two areas that are like this long, nice blue runs. So we have this uh, that we just saw and that we came from on top. These are from the peaks above. We have some black runs coming down from, from uh, those peaks. I do like this area here, that you can have many takers and come to this bowl, really, no matter how you do it or how you want to do it. Uh, this will lead us back to our base and start station and up to our other uh, carving area. That kind of feel like a glacier. I uh, do really like this, uh, the feel of this area too. And that you have a lot of things going around and coming in with it. And uh, this kind of feels going over here really like coming down to a lower village or uh, taking one of the <coughs> shallow star gondolas down to the village if it were too little snow in uh, the base or uh, at, yeah the base station or a base uh, base village or at lower altitude really so you had to take yeah the lift down it kind of feels like this that this area is that uh, so i do like this area too we definitely just had in quite a bunch of things here that maybe didn't make too much sense, but uh, it, it looks pretty all right. And we're using most of the mountain. Uh, we do have a little bit of a beginner area here too. That again, also was uh, quite heavily utilized at first before we were entering in with more things. Then we have this uh, nifty little uh, lift that is um, very, very steep, I think. Yeah, every gradient of 35%, so uh, pretty darn crazy. And we have uh, other that are also very steep. That says 26%, so not really as crazy as this one. I think this might be our craziest one. Uh, with some nice black rounds going with it. And uh, basically, we have another sort of just village here alongside it that we'll come back into. Uh, that have the same kind of feel. Uh, but this one is a little bit different uh, as we're having, well, just different. Uh, I don't know exactly what it is, but I feel like this don't have the same feel at all really as this. Uh, I guess it m might have to do how we have built it, but you kind of have the peak that you go over here that is not at all as impressive or yeah, the same as this one is. I guess this is due to that it's much steeper coming down there, maybe. Yeah, I think it is. And my uh, thinking about the last two Alps, one of the uh, few places I've been in the Alps, but uh, actually been there two times. They have like, at the, the village, you can come down like on lifts like this uh, that are pretty well it's a steep hill up to the middle station or the first station so to so to say at 2100 meters or something like that and then you have uh, the top at 3200 so you cross in 500 meters or something like that and you have the village at 1600 meters i believe or something similar and there it can be, and was when uh, I was there one of the times at least, very little snow, so you kind of had to watch your skiers or take the gondola back down, uh, dependent on uh, when you go, of course. But uh, that's really enough talking about this. Uh, let's have uh, zoom out here a little bit and have an overlook here on our... Um, Overlays, so we'll have a uh, feel here. I don't think we really have changed much here. Uh, no, not really. Uh, of course, entering runs, we have taken away uh, the greenery, so the peel here is uh, lower throughout a little bit where we have our runs. 
and also our uh, maintenance building and things like that are driving down the appeal so you don't really want to have them in the runs or close in the runs or higher up in the mountains so you see here that destroys the appeal of the runs so you want to have them at the bottom uh, at the center service centers the villages so to say safety it's all right but we do have quite a few falls in our resort not strange attendance uh, overall is uh, as you see, very kind of concentrated to a few runs. Lines we don't need to see yet. That but slope difficulty uh, is th this is what we got going for this map as a final result. Uh, I think it looks pretty good, pretty homogenic, and uh, pretty good di di diversity too. So overall, I'm, I'm pleased with the how this turned out. Uh, Kind of frustrated that we don't get out more skiers and also kind of frustrated that uh, the services aren't really working that perfectly like we would like them to do but i think it's all right overall um yeah i'm going to save this save if uh, so i can take it back someday if we need to or i want to uh, but uh this will be it for this episode and for this map and I'll be back next time with the next map starting a new if uh, nothing else happens. Check out the channel series too that uh, should be going on as this is coming out. With that said, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you here soon again. Bye bye. You have been watching Rollsclaw Gaming and I hope you have enjoyed. On clicking on the video on the left you will see the next video in this series and on the right our latest upload to the channel and with that said thank you again for watching